What's up everybody, it's Ezekiel with Shoeslide and today we're going to be answering another one of your questions. Here at Shoeslide we love talking about shoes but we especially enjoy teaching others about classic men's shoes and classic men's shoe care. Now today's question comes from John in Seattle. John writes, Ezekiel, thank you for all of your shoe content. I've been learning a lot but I do have one question before I jump in and purchase my first pair of classic men's shoes. I'm looking for a shoe that will be versatile enough to wear with a suit, but also something that I can dress down. And of course, something well made that will last me several years. What do you recommend for my first shoe purchase? Now that is a great question. And thank you for sending that over, John. I'm sure there's a lot of other folks out there with the same question. There are a few different things to consider, and we have three different pair of Oxford shoes here. Now, each of these would make a good first shoe for someone that is just getting into collecting classic men's shoes. Now, let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's start with the first one that we have here. Now, this is a full broke wingtip Oxford. Now, the reason that it's considered an Oxford is because of the lacing system. As you can see here, this lacing system, you can pull the pieces of leather that contain the lacing eyelets open just at the top here. The bottom remains closed and that is why it's considered an Oxford shoe because of the closed lacing system. Now this shoe is also considered a full brogue because of the broguing and the pinking along the edges of the leather here. This shoe also has a very nice medallion on the toe. This would be a great option for a first shoe in a classic men's shoe collection. And just as long as you make sure that you purchase a uh, 360 degree Goodyear welted shoe so that you can get the soles replaced easily. Now the second pair that we have here would also be a good option for someone starting their collection. This is considered an Oxford again because of the lacing system, but this is a semi-broke and as you can see here, this is a cap toe shoe. It is not a wingtip shoe like the first one that we saw. This is considered a wingtip because when you look down at the top of the shoe, you can see this W here, which some folks say looks like wings. Now with this cap toe, this is also something that isn't quite too formal, so you can definitely dress it down and wear it with some chinos, uh, some some slacks and an odd jacket, or even maybe some dark jeans. Now the third option that we have, this is the most formal option, and this shoe you can see, again, is an Oxford, but it has no decoration. It has no broguing and none of the pinking on the edges of the pieces of leather. This is the most formal shoe that we have here today because of its simplicity and the nice clean look. It does have a cap toe, but that is the only ornamentation that you'll find on the shoe. And this I would not necessarily recommend for your first shoe if you're building a classic men's shoe collection, just because it's a little more formal and you can't really dress it down. But if you are going to be starting a new job, maybe where you're wearing a suit every day, then this would definitely be a good option because you can wear this with uh, any type of suit and you can even polish and give it a nice mirror shine on the toe and this shoe will look really great. Now, as with any classic men's shoe, you want to make sure that you're taking good care of your shoes so that you can get the most longevity out of them as possible. And here at Shoe Slide, we recommend that you always carry a shoe slide wallet shoe horn with you. This is something that has definitely helped me several times when I've had to remove my shoes, either when I'm visiting someone and I remove my shoes as a courtesy so that I don't step on their carpet, or even if I need to go for a quick workout and change into some tennis shoes or trainers, then I have a shoe horn with me so that I can put my classic men's shoes back on safely without damaging the heel counter of the shoe. So now 
Back to your question, John, what I would recommend is I would recommend that you start your collection with something like this, a wingtip shoe, full broken, 360 degree Goodyear welt. Now this shoe, you can definitely wear it with a suit, even though it's not the most formal, so you might not want to wear it to a, like a wedding or, or somewhere where you'd be wearing a, a very tuxedo, but you can definitely wear it for office work if you're wearing a, a suit at the office and you can absolutely dress this down. You can wear it with some chinos, some slacks, and an odd jacket. Now this particular shoe is one of my favorites and I wear this quite often and uh, you definitely can't go wrong with it. So thank you again and I encourage you all to please continue to submit your questions either through our website shoeslide.com, our Instagram account, YouTube, or any of our other social media accounts. Please send your questions over and we look forward to hearing from you soon.